So today I'm teaching you how to take three common vegetables, fruits. I'm, I'm not sure. Which one is it? Nobody knows. Anyways, so this is your tomato, right? So everybody knows when you cut a home into a beautiful tomato, you always see those little tiny seeds. Right there, see them? That's all usable. That will create so many of those. Just one of these plants will yield hundreds and hundreds of tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do is teach you how to take them out. So all you gotta do is just scoop them out like that. Look how many seeds you get. The amount of tomatoes we could grow, we could grow an entire farm just with one tomato. That's how amazing and magnificent nature is. So what I like to do if I'm just taking it straight out, is I just do it over the pot, just like this get all of them out just like that and it's just literally as easy as that put them on there and remember if they're small seeds they don't need to go in that deep so just cover them as much as you can and water and you're probably going to get 10 tomato plants out of that and then once you get the right amount and they're all inside there just weed out the weakest ones the strongest ones keep and you can take this one pot and make one tomato, or you could take all of them out and plant a whole entire farm with them if you have to. All right, so my wife's favorite vegetable and herb, garlic. Garlic's really easy to plant. She's Italian, so I have to know how to grow this. You do the exact same thing you do with garlic. Each one of these little tiny bits will self-replicate and make another bulb. These are almost more like a, um, a clone than a seed, which is interesting. So just break them apart and remember which way the side was up. That's the very top. You know how the top of the garlic has this pretty little point to the top? That's up. So remember with all your seeds, which way up is. So see, there's the bottom. That would be the bottom and that would be up. And you just take them just like the way they are and make these little holes. And you want it to be good enough and deep enough to bury it. So this one you could probably go back underneath about three inches. Just like that. Not three inches. I'd say about two inches. And just plop them in there. Just like this. See? Take your other clove. Make sure they're always facing up. So that bottom half is always down. Push them in. Just like that. Down. Push them in. Down. Push them in. Down. Push them in. And I like to space them. So imagine that when a full-size clove, they'll be that big. So space them so they have that space around them to be that size. This guy right here. We'll put this big one right in the center. And I took one clove of garlic. And we still have some left over to cook with. So good. But I, from that one clove of garlic, I got one, two, three, four, five. Five garlic. And then just cover it up. And once again, drench it with water when you're done. Oh, the beautiful potato. One of the greatest fruits of Ireland. Do you know, actually, it was from South America. And it's definitely not from Idaho either. Anyways, so the potato, the great thing about potato is you take a five-pound bag of potatoes and it can make 50 pounds, okay? And I'm going to teach you how to grow potatoes. And potatoes are crazy because you can keep multiplying them on a massive scale. I've seen potato mounds that are this high, full of potatoes, okay? So this little tiny potato can make a lot of potatoes. So I'm gonna teach you how to grow this on your balcony. This is a great and easy food to grow. This is a life-saving food. Okay, first of all, I want you to look at this. See those right there? Those are called the spuds. See these little tiny, little tiny bits right there? Each one of those can grow their own individual potato plant. And there's ones all over. My grandfather always called them, cut them at the eyes, he said. So right there. So right there, we're going to cut into there. And we're going to get an eye out. And there's actually two inside there, meaning two beautiful little plants will come from that eye. Cut him off. We're going to cut it down here so it's safe. We'll cut this one off. Right like that. And then we'll cut this one off. And that's four. 
just like that, okay? And you could even, if you absolutely wanted to, you could cut down there, you can cut them quite small. But I just like cutting them right where the eye is because I know for a fact that this will create roots around it and right here will pop up a beautiful little green thing, right there. That's where the growth will come out of. So, look at this pot real quick. See this pot? You're looking at this pot and you say, where's all the dirt? Why isn't there more dirt? Shouldn't it be up to there? No, that's not the way potatoes are. You mound potatoes. You start off low, okay? And then once it grows up to about this height, you bury it again and you'll double your yield. But guess what? You can keep on doing it. Let's say you have a big mound of dirt or you even have a trash can. You can start it out low, grow it, grow it, grow it bit by bit, okay? So I'm gonna take my eyes, okay? And I want those eyes are going to come up. So I'm going to plant one right here. And I'm putting that eye facing upwards. Okay. Here's another eye right there. I'm going to dig that down. Face it upwards. Okay. Here's your other eye right there. Go and dig that down. We can even bury those too. So we can get to the other side. Dig down. Just like that. And one more over here. There's our last little tiny cute one. Right there, dig it down and bury it. And once those plants start to grow out of the top and they get about that height, I'm gonna add more dirt up to here and then add more dirt and then add more dirt and then add more dirt so I can make a mound of potatoes. So there you go, gang. Three easy plants that everybody can grow on their balcony that gives good substance and good food. It's a lot of fun to do at home. And you can just get all your, all your seeds are already in your kitchen. So happy planting. And remember, you gotta grow stuff to grow.